What's up everyone? If you made it to this episode, I'd like to thank you so much. 77 episodes of Cyberpunk between 40 to 60 minutes plus this one. It was amazing to do. I hope you had enjoyed it as much as I did. In this summary, we'll look back at a few aspects of the game. The gameplay and story, the night city, guns, skills, enemies, of course the graphics in the game, which were my personal best parts, and if I would recommend Cyberpunk to you. First, the gameplay and story. I loved it. It's very immersive, very good. The cutscenes are amazing and the story is easy to follow. I've got a good 80 hours in the game, only with one character, Street Kid. In the gaming series I've completed all the main story quests up to episode 19 and after that all the gigs and side tasks. I've completed all the NCPD, the Night City Police Department quests in the end. However, it's too boring to show this in another 10 plus episode due to being and feeling a bit repetitive. Of course, normally you play them in between, then it makes more sense and some of them are also in the gaming series that I've published as well. Night City. Night City is huge. I love how the modern cities have been envisioned with humongous tall buildings and multiple layers to drive through the city. Traffic gets confusing sometimes, but that's great if you ask me, because getting lost in Night City, what could possibly go wrong? You will love the neon lights, the graphics, the, 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 the immersive colors. I really think it's a beautifully designed city. And you can also go out of the city to discover deserts-like terrain. Then a bit about the guns, skills and enemies. First off, the guns. The diversity of guns is quite good. You can go from shotguns to automatic rifles, upgrade your grom and punch your enemies knockout. You can be working with the leash or any other automatic rifle, sniper rifle. It's really varying um, a lot and I like it and it really handles well the guns. It's just nice, it's a good feeling to, to use them. The enemies are also really diverse, especially the cyber psychos I enjoyed a lot. They look great, they fight great, and they're quite challenging at uh, sometimes. And about the skills during the series, I've left a few screens in in which I'm doing skills to give you a sense of what is possible, but most have been cut out because it's just boring to watch uh, me reading the skills. Of course, you can see them being used in the gaming series. The graphics of this game were stunning to me. I've been playing on Ultra on a wide screen. I play on a 38 inch uh, LG on 3840 times 1600. That's the 12 to 5 ratio. That's actually a cinema ratio. And it's really beautiful. It works really well in this game because you have a wide view. You can get uh, a lot of the city at once. Unfortunately, I did play this before the DLSS update for my graphics card. However, it was powerful enough to run everything between 50 and 60 FPS Ultra. I'm running at 3080 Ti and after the DLSS update I'm at actually 60 to 70 FPS with much improved frame times. However, for the gaming series it's smooth, it looks great and the video okay, cap is so always limited to 60 FPS about. anyway. Like I said, life's loops. The personal best parts for me was that, uh, that when you are being the Johnny guy, who the guy is got stuck in your brain during a quest, and you're performing a gig being him, and then you go backstage with the chick, and, and it's so amazingly done how you can feel the emotion between the two. I, I really dig that scene. My second favorite part was to blow up a huge corporal airship. I won't disclose too much because you wanna watch this or play this for yourself. Would I recommend Cyberpunk 2077? Definitely, 100% yes. The game can be quite demanding for your PC setup if you want to play it at its full potential on the highest graphic setting. So be careful, be wary for that. But other than that, I definitely recommend you to experience the story, see Night City, go, go around and about. I've just started my YouTube channel. Please drop a like and a sub. I would appreciate it really much. It's just starting and growing. Thank you.